What's up guys? This is an awesome tech tip for all you Windows users out there. My laptop's battery is terrible. It lasts like two seconds. Well, maybe a bit longer. Point is, as long as I have my charger nearby, performance is way more important to me than battery life. But when I'm jumping from class to class and my charger decides to go MIA, which for some reason seems to happen way too often, battery life is way more important. I find myself constantly switching between power schemes to manage between better performance and better battery life. There's got to be a better way to switch power schemes than dragging your cursor like 13 billion pixels across the screen, only to overshoot the tiny battery icon, double back, click on it, wait half a second for it to open, and then choose a new power scheme. What's worse, for whatever reason, Windows only shows you two power schemes in that stupid window. What if I want to change to a power scheme not listed? Oh, don't even get me started. Luckily, there's a much better way to handle power schemes. You can create desktop shortcuts and keyboard hotcuts. Whoa, sorry, I meant hotkeys. What the heck is a hotcut? But seriously, how great is that? The first thing you need to do is open a command prompt. Hold down shift, right click on the desktop, and select open command window here. Once that's open, type in powercfg-l. This will give you a list of all the power scheme GUIDs. Next, you're gonna wanna copy all the GUIDs into Notepad. Right click anywhere in the command prompt, click mark, and then drag your cursor over the entire GUID. To copy it, press enter. Then go over to notepad and press control V to paste. Now we have to make the actual shortcuts. Right click on the desktop, click new, shortcut, and then type in powercfg.exe-s and then copy over one of the GUIDs into the text field. Click next, rename it to whatever power scheme it is, and click OK. And go ahead and do the same thing for each shortcut. And one more time. Now let's change the shortcut's icon to a battery icon. Right click on the shortcut, go to properties, and click change icon. Now type in or copy and paste the C Windows System 32 powercpl.dll thing. Go ahead and pick an icon, press OK. Now you can choose whatever keyboard hotkey you want to set up. Click here and then press the key that you want to use. Press apply, press OK. And go ahead and do the same thing for each shortcut. And one more time. Once you're done, you can go ahead and double click on any of the shortcuts and you'll notice that a little black window pops up for a split second and the power scheme has changed. Check it out. By the way, the shortcut to open Windows Mobility Center is Windows key and X. When I press F11, power saver mode, F10, balanced, and F9, high performance. On my keyboard, all three of those F keys are blank and serve no purpose. So they work perfectly for power schemes. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe. There are many more tech tips and tutorials coming soon.